Hey riders, how you doing? It's Paul with another Ride Home Review and we're going to do, as usual on Tuesdays, a retro review and this week we're going to be talking about The Florida Project and uh, The Florida Project is directed by Sean Baker. It stars Willem Dafoe, Brooklyn Prince, and Bria Venate and hopefully I didn't slaughter that name too badly. But uh, but before we get into the, that, don't forget to subscribe to Ride Home Reviews on your favorite podcasting platform. Subscribe on YouTube as well as like us on Facebook and follow on Instagram. That way you can keep, tra keep track of everything uh, that I'm doing at Ride Home Reviews. So let's get right into it. What is the, fly the Florida Project? It all about well it takes place in a summer over a, the course of a summer and it's follows the antics of a, a young uh, young girl named Moni and her mom as they live in a low-income well a hotel that's run by Willem Dafoe um, and takes place in Florida and so uh, and Moni is just you know the normal uh, uh, six year old, six, seven year old, and just living the life. However, life really catches up with her in a serious way. So, what did I like about this film? First of all, I really liked how it was paced out. Um, I liked what the director did in creating this real world uh, within a real world. I really enjoyed the, the new uh, cast. I thought they did a marvelous job, especially the kids. The kids um, were just absolutely stunning in such random scenes that really had to play. They really had to work hard at being who they were in a scene that just seemed like we just want you just to say stuff. Um, they just did. There's some marvelous jobs. They did some marvelous job at, at directing these kids uh, and, and putting that all together and it just blew me away. I mean, the whole feel of the movie, it just felt more documentary than a real, uh, real drama it is it is a dramatic film but they just the, the feel i mean just the way they the way they set things up the way they um the editing scenes with moni and her friends and just the way they just passed time in the day was i really enjoyed how they constructed this film in that regard it was really awesome and then the glue was Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe obviously brought a character that just had personality, but subtle. There was a lot of subtle things that he brought to the, his character that just, you really, you really grew to like him and you really grew to uh, sympathize what he's doing because he sympathized with the people that lived because he played the hotel manager. Um, and it just was interesting. It just felt like a window into a life that you just, just really didn't, didn't grab. And it was a good coming of age story and just the, but the acting of the young girl, um, unbelievable how she wasn't up there. And this is where I really, I'm always a big proponent of having kids or child actors under the age of 18 get nominated for their own Oscar because there's such more and more their performances are getting better and better. And it just, it's just a testament of the talent of what they're seeing and being able to duplicate that. But the range of emotions that this young, young lady had, was just outstanding to watch, especially at the end. And I just, I, I don't know what else to say about her performance. It was just fabulous. 
and I highly recommend you seeing this girl do what she does in this film. And at such a young, young age. Um, uh, but uh, what I didn't like about the film was as much as I liked what Willem Dafoe brought to his character. Um, I just felt like he lacked a background. There was some. And the fact of the matter is, here's the here's the deal with that. The fact that they had inserted a couple scenes where they brought in his life outside the hotel into it, I thought did more disservice to his development than his actual development through his interaction with the current characters. And it just I just felt it just didn't fit. And that you know, so that's just one thing. And the other thing is I was not a big fan of the very of of the the end. Um, just w what, what happened with the two of the young kids at the end? I just, I didn't, I don't know. It, it just me, it, it may be me. I may be interpreting it wrong, but it just, it just, to me, I just felt like that mixed with what had just happened prior. I just felt, and then there was just a little bit of, uh, um, uh, yeah, it just, just didn't work for me. That's all. Th those are it. Other than that, it was a fabulous movie. Um, and what to watch for. The watch for the scene, the bathtub scenes. Just wait for that to, come, to boil over. Just w watch for the bathtub scenes. And it was well done. Well done. So... I give this an excellent, a real big yes, other than the two uh, things that I didn't like about this film. You can see it on Amazon Prime. It's streaming there. And this came out in 2017, so it's technically a retro review. And then, th so I so recommend it. So go see it. And then all, also, don't forget to subscribe to Ride Home Reviews on your favorite podcasting platform, as well as YouTube. And then also like, uh, Ride Home Reviews on Facebook. Follow on Instagram. And until the next time, watch something cool.